Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I am going to talk about 5 basic and important Java interview questions. Why would you use a synchronized block versus synchronized method? A synchronized block plays locks for shorter periods than synchronized method. Say for example, you have a method of 25 lines of code and only 5 lines of code in that method requires synchronization mechanism. That means 5 lines of code should be accessed by only one thread at a time. So you can place a synchronized block for those 5 lines of code. Instead of that, if you place a synchronized keyword for the entire method, there will be a performance hit because all the threads that try to enter that method will be blocked. So every every thread should wait for the first thread to complete those 25 lines of code. So it depends on the context. So please please check what are the lines of code that require synchronization mechanism. So simply we should not add synchronized keyword for the entire method so the recommendation is try to use mostly synchronized blocks in order to improve your performance can you write a java class that could be used both as an applet as a as well as as an application yes add a main method to the applet in this way you can do it can you call one constructor from another constructor if a class has multiple constructors yes you can use this syntax to achieve this how will you convert a string array to an array list object say you have a string array here xyz you created and you want to convert this into an array list you could do this using an api arrays dot as list so you have to pass a string array object and this will convert into array list this is provided by java itself does it matter in what order catch statements for file not found exception and io exception are written yes it does the file not found exception exception is inherited from io exception exception subclass have to be caught first so for example this is the hierarchy and this is this is the order it should be caught otherwise you will surely get a compilation error all the exception subclass have to be caught first then in the last exception class should be caught caught hope these five questions are useful thank you and all the best